How's it going guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're having a great October so far and it is just a really rainy Saturday. A couple days ago it started at warm and then it got kind of cool and then yesterday, was it yesterday, Friday? It got really, really cold out enough to wear like winter coats <laughs> and now it's back up to I think 21 degrees Celsius. I think that's about around 68 Fahrenheit so it's I mean obviously what I'm wearing it's warm enough to be wearing that so interesting weather patterns we're having here I don't know I am just at the local tiny tiny laundromat doing my laundry because I don't have a washer right now where I a washer and dryer right now where I live but um, I wanted to actually record earlier this morning because it, it was so foggy I was gonna go outside and show you but as soon as I stepped outside it was raining and um, yeah I'm all red right there so yeah it's just been kind of raining on and off we ended up having to put the air conditioning on in the house and then like yesterday when we got home we had the heat blasting so I don't know it's crazy it's October I guess but I just wish it was a little bit less humid I mean look at my hair <laughs> if you don't know I have naturally curly hair and I don't even bother trying to straighten it in this kind of weather um, which is why I had it up all summer because um, I'm also growing it out <laughs> so yeah it, it is just disgusting out right now but I've been having a lot of fun knitting which I feel like I haven't shared that much knitting with you um, I did f just have a test knit to finish up yesterday my test knitters finished this sock and I am going to tell the name now. Um, I had big plans for this collection that I was going to do, but I don't think I'm gonna do it right now. However, it's still going to be a series. And this is the first one in the series and it's called Tady Lady. And the series name is called Sweet Child of Mine. They're, each pair of socks is going to be named after one of my daughters. So this is the first one for my first daughter, Tatum. And her nickname growing up was always Tady Lady and um, this is hers and that just got finished up and that's going to be um, up for sale very soon like within the next 24 hours I'm hoping it's all ready to go I just want to make sure everything's good with it so that's that and then this one is I'm not gonna say the name now actually I don't know I don't even think it matters but these ones are so cool there's hair all over them um, I really like these socks you it's got this fun little design going down the side and then on the back it's got another little it's kind of hard to see on sock blockers but it's got a separate little design happening there and these are going out for testing starting next Friday so I'm super excited about that I love it's so exciting I love seeing what other testers come up with what yarns they use um, and then when the pattern actually gets pub gets published I can't wait to see what people come up with so I still actually have them published the pattern that I had tested a few months ago um, and I don't know why I just oh yeah so I finished this little sweater for Nadia and I didn't finish it I finished the body of the sweater and I did ribbing a two by two ribbing for the um, bottom of it for quite a few inches actually and the way it fits her is really cute by by doing it like that it kind of like kind of it's more shaped I guess for somebody who doesn't have a shape yet <laughs> So it's really cute and I'm just working on the sleeves right now and um, yeah I'm working on that one it's it's coming along really really nicely and I got so there's this um, it's a, a used bookstore in downtown London which is really close to me the city that's close to me and they I discovered it one day because we were at a vegan um, fast food restaurant and of course I find a bookstore and I have to go in and so one day I brought a bunch of books that I had already read that I knew that I didn't want to keep and I got um, store credits so then I went in a few weeks later and I got this book Anne of Green Gables and I actually got the second one too Anne of Avonlea and I was specifically looking for these books but I read these when I was a little girl, like fourth, fifth, sixth grade, and I loved these books. These and Little House on the Prairie books. Loved these books. Haven't read them since, um, although I do think I've read them a couple times when I was younger. Me and my mom would read them together, kind of together. And I always used to get jealous because she'd be way, way ahead of me, and I'm like, I can't keep up. But there is just something about the Anne of Green Gables books. Um, 
you do that? Do you smell your books? My husband makes fun of me because I do that. He's like, I love my books. He just makes fun of me for liking books, but I don't care. And I think he likes it. But yeah, there's just something super cozy and comforting about the Anne of Green Gables books. Um, yeah, I don't know. And this, I used to watch the movies too, and I haven't seen the new movies yet on Netflix, but... I definitely plan on checking those out soon. So I've been talking enough. Hopefully I'll show you some more interesting stuff later on if I start knitting on anything different. Yeah. It just got really sunny while I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm at the laundromat though and I think I took somebody else's washing machine. It's a very tiny laundromat and there's never anybody in here but today there's it's full. So I guess people do their laundry on Saturday. I feel kind of bad I took someone's washing machine. I don't know. Maybe that's just me thinking that I took someone's washing machine. Hey, uh, it's been a while. Wah! I'm outside. There's bugs all over me. Um, today is Monday and I, I'm not really good at this blogging every day stuff. Um, just, I don't really have a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm, I know there's going to be some stuff coming up and it'll be more interesting, but my days are not very interesting. Um, but today I thought I would share because it is Canadian Thanksgiving. Um, if you watch my podcast, you know I'm American, so it's a little weird for me. Um, I'm sorry, I'm always playing with my hair, but it's crazy. Um, anyway, yeah, today's Canadian Thanksgiving, so it's a nice little holiday off, and we don't really do anything to celebrate it. We don't have any family around. Um, well, we have family around, but we're like the family doesn't do anything. Um, but I am cooking a really awesome dinner. I made some seitan, um, which is like a vegan uh, meat kind of. It's like a meat substitute and it's made out of what is called vital wheat gluten. And it's really easy to make and it's really delicious. So I'm making that today in like a, a roast like with all the like stuffing and um, mashed potatoes and drunken apples. I forgot a couple of the things like cranberry sauce and like the, like corn and green beans and stuff. Oh, there's, a, there's bugs everywhere. It feels like July or something and it's October. Um, anyway, so I am making that today. I am loving, I, I, got, I got all the food prepped for it. I'm, oh, there's, okay, so there's these beetles that look like ladybugs, those fall ladybugs. They're not as bright red. They're like a, a dull, like brownish red. And they are everywhere, just absolutely everywhere. And they are flying around, plus there's flies around everywhere, freaking me out. It's disgusting. Um, but yeah, so it's a gorgeous day. It's got to be like 27, 28 degrees Celsius, so it's like high 70s, maybe 80. It's really hot out today. It's a little bit humid, but it's nice and sunny. Um, it's a beautiful day. I'm loving it. <laughs> we actually have the air conditioning on today. We've had all right, so a bunch of motorcycles just went by. We've had pretty much every season in the last week. <laughs> We've had winter, spring, fall, and summer all together. And it's it's autumn right now, so. And my kitty is outside. She's, here's Izzy. She comes outside to play sometimes and she's just hanging around me. She's like, mama, you're outside. So she's rubbing up on my, on my legs. Oh, there's cat butt. Hello. She's usually not friendly, but um, my cats are indoor cats, but we've been letting them hang out outside. And they love being outside, just play. It's like sending little kids outside to play. They are so happy and they get some exercise because they don't get exercise in the house. So yeah, I will show you um, some of the food that I've prepared already. Right now the seitan is roasting in the slow cooker because um, it takes a little while and um, everything else will, will um, cook up really quick. but. It'll just be the three of us, and that's fine. Um, we were supposed to do a family dinner yesterday. I wanted to do a big family roast. Um, that didn't work out, but whatever. <laughs> Here is the um, bread ready for the stuffing. I'm making some just homemade stuffing. And these are the apples ready for the drunken apples. And here is the seitan roasting. Uh, slow cooking. It smells delicious. And then there are potatoes in there for mashed potatoes. Mm. So, 
disgusting. They're all over the ceiling. but it's like 27 degrees out which is really hot and um, I wish I could wear a hat to hide my hair but sorry <laughs> uh, anyway I like I said yesterday for my um, yesterday's vlog which I, I'm trying to upload now but um, having troubles uploading it anyway um, I just wanted to say to my view any of my viewers um, anybody who's who's watch my podcast or who is who follows me on Instagram or who's talked to me or anything I just want to say a huge thank you to you um I've had a for the past five years I've had a really tough time making friends um living in a new country not really having um an outlet to meet people and I started when I started podcasting and following other podcasters and being more involved on Instagram with any knitting stuff um, I just felt like I was really part of something and that's like all I want is to be part of something <laughs> I mean I and it's part of it's being part of something that is something that I'm passionate about you know what I mean um, and I just I just really want to thank everybody for including me and making like the people that I have talked to and just making me feel like there are people out there who have the same interests as me uh, it's I don't I'm not around anybody anymore that I I can really hang out with and knit with and having podcasters to watch even though I can't talk back to them they can talk to me and I can respond to them but I can talk to you guys too and even though I don't get an immediate response um, I do I, I do get to talk to other knitters and not only just knitters like down the street I'm talking knitters in different countries people I never would have had a chance to meet so um, just I don't know thank you so much thanks for being knitters for being awesome thank you I mean I'm so happy for technology that we're able to have this outlet for ourselves and I think a lot of knitters feel the same way as I do I think um, but yeah I just feel um, feel very included <laughs> which is something that I haven't felt for a very long time to feel included in something probably for over a decade so thank you <laughs> Thank you.